Just one week before Obamacare is set to take hold in the form of those exchanges, we're learning the president will roll out a new sales pitch for the health care plan to the American people this Thursday. And that speech comes as we're seeing a blizzard of media reports this week on how the legislation will actually limit options, how it leaves big gaps, and how millions of Americans will not get to keep their coverage as the president repeatedly promised. Chris Dyerwalt is the Fox News digital politics editor and host of Power Play on foxnews.com live. All right, Chris, great to see you today. I have in my hands here the New York Times, Politico and USA Today, uh, not known as the triumvirate of uh, super right wing outlets. And no, all man. of them have heavy criticism for Obamacare, the reality of it versus what the president had promised. Well, look, the president's promise on if you like your blank, you can keep your blank uh, was an evolving promise. It turned out first he said that and then he said this law won't make you lose your coverage or make you lose your doctor. The translation being uh, other people may take away your doctor. Other people may take away your coverage as a consequence of this law, but this law will not directly take it from you. This is indicative of a long arc in a complicated sales pitch for this administration on a law that is pretty much as unpopular today as it was the day it was enacted in March of 2010. And the reality for the president is he's enlisting Bill Clinton today. They're starting another six months, six months uh, of selling the concept of this new entitlement, uh, the taxes and regulations that come with it, because on January 1st, you mentioned October 1st. That's when the gates swing open for people to enroll in the subsidized government health insurance programs. But on January 1st, that's when the stuff swings into effect. The benefits start coming out, but the employers and individuals start dealing with the new regulations, new taxes, et cetera, under the law. Well, here's my question. It is the law of the land, as a number of Democrats have uh, repeatedly reminded us over the last few weeks, as we now have this battle on Capitol Hill over the funding, defunding uh, related to the health care law. Why is the president still out there selling it? Why another speech when people have to go along with this, whether they want to or not? Well, that's not exactly the way that you get people involved in an entitlement program that is dependent on people who in the past have opted not to purchase insurance to purchase insurance. The government is spending millions, tens of millions of dollars right now trying to entice people, especially young folks, to purchase this insurance that they in the past have not wanted to buy. They're saying, we'll give you a subsidy. It's cool. They run ads with a water skiing Paul Bunyan statues and trippy music. And they're doing anything that they can think of to try to get young people in the door. Because unless they have enough enrollees, what is is already shaping up as a budget difficult uh, law becomes budget impossible. And that's the reality for the president as he is trying to drag this thing across the finish line. Yeah, and I know that this uh, speech on Thursday looks like it's probably going to take place on a college campus because we know that young people are so critical here to this. But when many of them are explained what their options are, the fine versus getting an expensive policy, uh, their participation, as you noted, is going to be uh, needed to underwrite the rest of the people who are, are going to be getting into health care uh, who may not be there now. Uh, how tough of a sell do you think this is going to be to young people? They do the math and say, something like a $90 fee versus buying a, a health insurance policy. I'm young, I'm healthy, I'm 20. Why would I do this? Well, the president did this law as a deal with the largest insurance companies in America. He cut a deal that basically said, I'm going to make it harder for you to make money, but in exchange, I will force people who didn't want to buy your pro products before to buy them now. That includes the folks from his electoral base, young voters on places like college campuses, uh, that they are using everything they can at their disposal, the social media, the networks, everything that they can do to try to get these Obama Obama supporters signed up and deliver on his promise. They said they would do it by force, essentially, that they would compel people. That has not turned out to work with only a $95 penalty. So now they're trying to entice people so the president can make good on his promise to the insurance industry. Well, he makes that pitch again on Thursday. And as you mentioned, former President Bill Clinton along for the effort as well over the next few months. Chris Starwalt, thank you very much. 11.30 a.m. Eastern on the interwebs. We'll see you there tomorrow. You bet. You bet. All right, and remember, you can follow all the latest from Capitol Hill on the fight over Obamacare and the possible government shutdown. Just visit foxnews.com slash foxnewsfirst and sign up for our daily Fox First note. Simply enter your email in the line, click on the sign up button. That is it. It's that simple. Again, foxnews.com slash foxnewsfirst. Don't miss it.